In this tutorial, we explore the properties of parallel and perpendicular lines using the Desmos geometry tools. In this illustration, two lines intersect at a point. Whenever lines intersect, they form four angles as shown here. There is one case where two lines don't form any angles. This is the case where the lines are parallel. In this illustration, Line L is parallel to line M. Two lines are parallel if they are coplanar and don't intersect. Lines extend to infinity in both directions, so when we say that parallel lines don't intersect, that means they never touch, no matter how long the lines are. This means that parallel lines are always the same distance apart. Going back to the situation where two lines intersect, you can see how four angles are formed. In general, all four angles formed are not congruent to each other. But there is one situation in which the four angles are the same. This is when the lines are perpendicular to each other. In this illustration, line L is perpendicular to line M. Perpendicular lines form a right angle, or an angle of 90 degrees. In fact, perpendicular lines form four right angles. Let's use the Desmos tools to construct parallel and perpendicular lines. From the geometry window, click on the line tool. Construct line AB and point C as shown here. Click on the More Tools drop-down menu. Select the Parallel Line option. Click on line AB. You'll see a line appear. Move the pointer and click on point C. The two lines are parallel to each other. Click the selection arrow and move or rotate either line. See how the lines remain parallel? To test if distance remains constant, follow these steps. Click on the Segment tool. Construct the segment as shown. Make sure the segment is perpendicular to each line. Use the Angle tool and make sure the angle is 90 degrees. Now measure the length of the segment. Use the Selection tool and click on the segment. Then click on the Label option. You'll see the length appear. This is the distance between the two lines. Click and drag on the segment and move it left and right. You'll see that the distance between the lines doesn't change. Rotate line AB to set a different distance. Make sure the segment is at a 90 degree angle. Click and drag the segment and you'll see the distance is constant. Now let's explore perpendicular lines. Create a new construction. You may want to save the previous document you were working on. Construct line AB and point C as shown. Click on the More Tools menu. Select Perpendicular Line. Click on line AB and then on point C. The line formed is perpendicular to line AB. Verify by creating point D as shown and measuring angle ADC. Rotate line AB and you'll see the lines remain perpendicular. Also, you can use the angle tool to verify that all four angles formed are 90 degrees. Finally, you can use the Ray and Segment tools to construct parallel and perpendicular lines. Try creating parallel and perpendicular lines using those tools.